In today's video, I'm going to be showing you conditional formatting based on another cell here in Google Sheets. I'll show you how to format one cell or a group of cells based on what you type or select in another cell. So let's get started in my example data right here. What I want to do is to have a format for these checkboxes, which if they are checked, they will turn into another color like so. And also, if I check on this one right here, I want the entire row to change color also with the text so it will pop out. And finally, if I have a completion date that is empty, the format will be these texts right here will have a different color and the cells will also have no fill color. So let's get to it. Let's start by conditioning our checkboxes right here. So for the first part, again, what we want to do is to have these cells right here change into a certain color if they are checked. So we're going to do that by selecting this range where all of our checkboxes are. So in my example right here, we have some students that need to complete their modules. And once they completed one module, these checkboxes will be checked and they will change into a certain color. So before we get started, once you check on a checkbox, its default value would be true. If it's unchecked, then it's false. So we are going to use that in creating our conditional format. So let's go ahead and select this range right here, module one to module four, go to format, select conditional formatting. And here are our format rules on the right side. We have the correct range selected already. Let's go to our format rules and we're going to click on text is exactly true. There we have it. Now we can select the formatting style for that cell. And we're going to be selecting a fill color Let's say this light blue color right here. There we have it. If we click on done, and if we try and check on these checkboxes, they turn into a different color once you check on them. Now let's start with our conditional format based on another cell. What I want to do is once a student completes all of the modules, they'll be able to check on this checkbox right here and the entire row will have a change of color. So we're going to do that by selecting that row right there. Go to add another rule on your conditional format rules on the right side. If you don't have that open, just go back to format on the menu bar and select conditional formatting. It will open the same thing on the right side. So let's go ahead and select add another rule. There we go. That's the range that we want this format to be applied to. Now let's go to our format rules. For this one, we're going to be selecting custom formula is, and our formula would be equal sign. If F3 would be true, then again, our entire row will be colored. Now we're going to be adding a dollar sign before our F column so that Google Sheets will only be focusing on this column right here. So once we have added that dollar sign, you'll see that the entire row has now changed its color based on the color that you will be selecting right here. And we're going to be selecting another one instead of that light green. We're going to go for a darker green. Maybe this one right here. There we go. Now for our text, it's not as visible as I want it to be. So I'm also going to be changing that into white. There we have it. If I click on done, if I click on these ones right here, you'll see that their colors have also changed. Now this is happening because this is the first rule that we've applied onto our data. And you'll see on the order right here, it's the one at the top. We can easily fix this by rearranging the order and having this one right here at the top or to be the first one. And there you have it. So even though these are checked, they will not be able to change into a different color unless I uncheck this one right here. And there you have it. So once you select this entire row, all the conditional format rules will appear on the right side. So that's one way to do it. Now, what if we want to add a date of completion where if this one right here, if this cell right here is empty, this cell will have a different format. So what I want to do is to add another format rule where this will be formatted based on whatever we have on this cell right here. So let's go ahead and format that. Let's select that cell, go to format, select conditional formatting, and add another rule. 
Again, based on this cell right here, we will have a different format for this cell. So go to Format Rules, Custom Formula is, equal sign, that's going to be cell G3, is equal to an empty space. So double quotation, no space needed in between. There you have it. Now our format would be the fill color will be blank and the text color will be a different color. Let's say orange. So if I click on done, and again, it will not appear right away, even though our cell is empty right here, if I rearrange the order, you'll see that the format for this cell has changed. All I'm gonna do now is to copy the format. So that's copy, then select this range right here and just paste it, paste special, and select conditional formatting only. If you click on that, all of the cells have now changed into that format because our completion date column is still empty. If we try and enter a date right here, there we go. Now it has changed into a green color as well based on this cell right here. If I uncheck it, it goes back to the black format. If I remove these date right here, it will also turn into that orange text color right there. And there you have it. So those were two easy examples on how you can do conditional formatting based on another cell. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.